should act like I've cooked a lot of risotto. <laughs> <laughs> what, that's not what you're out there cooking on the top of the Come on now. Hold on, guys. I'm not going to cook the risotto yet. <laughs> I'm going to have a glass of uh, tan. You laugh, but y'all are doing cappuccino out there, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, then. With sweet and condensed milk. <laughs> well, I thought that was kind of funny. Bunch of cowboys out there on the rough range on the chuck wagon drinking cappuccino. <laughs> Cuban coffee one day, Euro cappuccino the day. <laughs> there we go. We got a good boil going. I have fun doing that. Got a good boil going. We're going to add a little bit of broth. We're going to add a little bit more. We're going to add a little bit more scones. Our, our uh, risotto overall is going to take a total of about 25 minutes with broth in it. So. so I hope Terry's got some more words with his voice. Uh, don't uh, walk behind horses in the spring. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Are you on any travels? Uh, well, let's see. I just got back from the Guadalupe River with my daughter and wife, and we went down there. Um, uh, just uh, just family stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to a busy fall, you know, with the fall ranch work. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm going to check right to on the 4 6 of ranch. Y'all probably heard me say that one time, you don't want to hear it no more. But, uh, but uh, I, I also cooked for another, uh, another uh, cow calf outfit out in Kaufman County. And I go, I go cook for those cowboys while they're out there. Uh, let's see, what do I got going on? Uh, I'm headed. I didn't get to go to Hacks this year and pick up my own chilies like I usually like to do. I've, I've just been too busy. Well, uh, I've got a new catering uh, uh, business I'm, I'm, I'm launching. And it, it, it's, it's nothing too exciting. It's just a business deal. Uh, it's a, it's more geared for offices and and and, and uh, kind of. Yeah. You know, you just, you order food and we deliver it. But it's real food, yeah. Well, that's a good idea. Well, you order food and you deliver it. And, but, 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 you know, it's like uh, real food, though. Green chili pork chops and, you know, salsa, a, a beefsteak ranchero and we do fried chicken. And I'm, I'm doing some barbecue. Uh, uh, we're also doing some other things, a, a superfoods salad bar, and, you know, things, uh, some, some new things. Uh, just geared towards inexpensive stuff to bring to an office and just drop off. It's not like a cater thing where we bring the shake and pan to just drop it. I'm not doing risotto. Uh, I'm going to put this on the menu, though, now that you've trained me how to cook this. Still, Mike, that's okay. I'm making your chili. That, that's okay.
cook some interesting food, I'll say that. I, I made a boo-boo. I always, I, I should have assigned somebody in the beginning, but I forget to. I'm supposed to assign somebody to make sure I don't leave anything out. Because can't tell you how many times I got to the end of the class and somebody goes, um, yeah, where's the saffron? Yeah. And I'm like, oops. So I did forget the saffron. Typically I'll take my saffron and I'll put it in the white wine. The white wine is just a really good, um, it's got some acid to it. It'll break it down nicely and get the flavor out of the saffron really nicely. You just soak in that white wine. And then you pop it in there and it comes out very nicely. What I did is instead I'm soaking it in my uh, chicken stock instead, which will do. But um, I, I usually like to put it in my white wine. So I, I varied off the recipe a little bit. It was, it was saffron flowers? It is. Saffron is the statement of the crocus flowers. And it takes something like, I don't know, I've read about it before, I think it's like 20,000 flowers to make like an ounce of saffron. So it is the most expensive spice in the world. You go in there and you go buy this and you're like, $12. <laughs> but it really is because they also have to be in the plot. They can't have the most famous out of flowers. Now, I think they're those in Spain or where they're Spain and the Middle East. Um, Did they taste different from where they come from? Or? A little bit. There are a couple different, slightly different varieties of the flower themselves, and they can be different. I can't tell you that I know, like, the terroir of, uh, you know, the saffron flowers like you would on, you know, grapes or something like that. It would really be distinctive. I've never noticed anything like that. But there will be different ones. That, so. Well, I saw you just put a little grapes. bit in there. I guess a little bit goes a long way. Yeah. All of it really does the same thing. I think I need to serve them. Here, you want to help you? I don't know, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to say what I was doing, I'm... Yeah, a little stir once in a while would be great. I'm going to go ahead and put the corn in. We do, we're using some raw corn straight off the husk. Nice summer corn is beautiful, crispy. I mean, it really doesn't even have to get cooked all the way. I like to still have a little bit of toothiness to it. That's why we're only throwing it in like halfway through the risotto. So we're going to go ahead and put that in. It's a little easier to eat this way in the risotto than on the top. <laughs> and what we're going to put in closer to the end is I've got some serrano ham. Serrano ham is a, it's kind of the Spanish version of a prosciutto. It's a wonderful salt cured ham. And let's see, I'm going to give you a little more stock there, Terry, where you're stirring. He's doing such a nice job. He gets extra points for that, guys. <laughs> He's working on extra points. I know he is. He's gonna he's gonna smoke right by me. Well, I grew up down there, good old Fred's Cafe, and we made and still do make great big pots of gravy. And my job was stirring the gravy. <laughs> Stir the gravy. And my dad would say, "Stir that gravy like having sex." <laughs> How old were you, Terry? <laughs> well, you stir the bottom and let the top take care of itself. <laughs> now, when you're blessed with a short spoon, you got to stir real fast. <laughs> 